What's up? I was about to say the wrong thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm oh, sorry. That's I'm why sorry. you can't fucking do it, huh? It's one sentence, bro. Come on. You you stopped at two words. <laughs> What's up, LFG fan? Welcome back to another video. Today, what we got for you? Can I can I can I work? 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 What's up, LFG fan? Can I work? Uh, how do you go ahead? Nobody was stopping you, but damn, you expect us not to laugh. <laughs> like you know, Welcome back to another video on the LFG channel. No it's way, a... you started it with my face going like this, bro. <laughs> you gotta wait a second. You I'm not gotta... waiting no more seconds. So we we're giving y'all the Loki season two episode three review, and I think this is gonna be a good one. I'm, yeah, I don't care. <laughs> Did you watch it this time or what? <laughs> <laughs> okay. I can't stand y'all. Are we really? This is the way we start. Yes, we yes. Go. It? Okay. Go. All right. Here we go. Uh, as we usually do here, you know, we start with the ratings off for it. Uh, then codes. What, what did you? What did we you? Back, we back to a ten. A ten. You had a ten. Yes, we're back. Stop <laughs> laughing, bro. We back to a ten, bro. Come on. Okay, he's at a ten. Um, a jet went second last time. Uh, I'm gonna I'm go with a, with a nine on this one for me. Uh, I thought it was good, very very good as always, but it just wasn't at that ten for me, which we will talk about in the review. Jet, where are you at? I'm at a nine also. <laughs> hey, this episode is better than the last one. Y'all are crazy. <laughs> okay, well, I mean, stay tuned. If you guys haven't seen that episode, there you go. You guys got uh, what was that a twenty nine? What is that twenty seven? 27 some shit like that uh so there you go you got a 27 from lfg if you guys haven't seen the episode go do so now we're gonna go ahead and get right into it spoiler warning starting now all right codes wh why did you like this episode more than the last one um because kang's in it no that's not just why but i did like his character a lot um i i just i like seeing how we thought going in like whatever whatever the miss um, minutes had going on like i don't know i thought she had some some like secret like agenda going on but really she was just following the orders of he he who remains and i didn't see that coming he planned ahead of his death and i thought that was nice to see so and going into that it's kind of like again it adds on to that because we didn't we don't think of of miss minutes as somebody who who would act the way she acted in that episode her turning at that moment was kind of crazy to me but I just like I said overall like going through it the action the the plot and us getting development into like he who remains and what they're trying to do with with him is it's I liked it I, I loved it I thought it was amazing. Yeah, so like just said because Kang's in it. No. <laughs> so okay, uh, no, I mean let, you're on Miss Minutes, so let's talk about Miss Minutes. Yeah, I thought, bro, she she did a good job on, on this episode. It's Tara Strong, if I'm not mistaken, right? That's who voices Miss Minutes. Uh, talk about just like yeah she has 100 percent control of whatever she does she has her autonomy i think is what, what they said um but come to find out she's in love with with he who remains in love with she's him. in love with them because she kind of gave some like stalker vibes and some yeah, like psycho creep. vibes and that was that was crazy that was crazy so that but that was funny to see and right away he was like nah, nah. <laughs> he put her right back into the little phone shit bro like nah we out of here but yeah she was cool well, going back to the trader when we saw her like being all menacing and big and stuff and we yeah. thought she was you know trampling and stuff it really was just a scare tactic i don't can can she hit anything she, she was she was touching one of the wires i thought she was touching like one of the light like the the string now of that light. You, I, I think she kicked she i think it. she kicked a box or something too if i'm not mistaken so hey she can she can hit stuff mm -hmm. uh so yeah that's pretty cool so yeah i thought she did a, a pretty good job tear strong and we actually got a fleshed out a little more fleshed out miss minutes and how she was created and she was started off to be a chess you know just a chess player just something to play chess with and uh evolved into so much more and she actually stated she's like nah i want to i want my own body so hey i don't know if that's going to come out later on in the future in the season we'll see maybe in next seasons it's fucking she wants terror. her own body yeah <laughs> hey they might they might right they have to i don't know Terra comes in so that'll be something to look out for that'll, that'll be pretty interesting if they do that uh so yeah miss minutes stole it uh not stole the show i think for me but she did good i, I think obviously the star the, the who stole this episode jonathan majors uh 
Bro, he he was phenomenal in, in his performance here. The way we opened up seeing him and he was just kind of like stuttering, like playing the fool a little bit, right? Like, yeah. And now I present my invention. Like, bro, like he that was so cool to see, and you you think nothing of it, right? He goes off with the invention, does all the lightning, and real quick when they show him real quick, and Loki's like, oh, it's him, bro. Loki was shaking yeah, in his he, boots, he bro. Was like. Afraid. That's the Kang people should have been afraid of, bro. That's what it made it seem like an Ant Man. It's because of what he told him. Like he's going in thinking, oh, he's a variant. He has to be evil. Like off rip. They're not even thinking like, oh, this is just a young guy, you know, who just is leading a path that they they made for him. Like they not he's not thinking like that. This is a variant. He's coming to take over. That's all he's thinking. So yeah. I thought that was amazing. So yeah, it was shaking in his boots, just just absolutely nervous, absolutely scared of this man. And then yeah, you get the whole presentation of his uh, loom. I don't think he called it a loom. I forget what he called. He did. It, he, his... he called it a loom at the end, of, or like to oh, okay. actually name it. Yeah. So he he did his whole presentation, and I thought he coming down off the thing. Everybody wants to talk to him. Hey, I need to buy your loom. I need to buy your loom. I thought he did a phenomenal job there, he bro. Was he was hustling. Old. What? Old. Yeah, he was a hustler. He was a swindler, bro. <laughs> this man was a swindler. Bro. He got paid a thousand dollars to to get that that project behind him, bro. He ends up selling it. <laughs> Go ahead, I go don't ahead. know if you noticed, but that guy that he paid at the table, he was the guy that was up in the bid. So yeah, yeah, yeah. He, yeah. He, he's like, hey, guy comes in, he's like, hey, I'll give you five hundred dollars, and we'll call it right there, right? He goes, six hundred. Nah, six hundred. They start bidding, bidding, gets them up to a thousand. That's my final offer. I'll take it. So he gets the thousand dollars. He goes through the crowd, sees the man sitting at the bar, slides him a little hundred. I'm assuming, and other than that, here you go. Thank you. He swindled that man out of a thousand dollars, bro. So. I'll, it, it, it was it's so cool to see because with this whole time we thought no in that presentation anyways he like oh shit he's back like it's yeah. him it's he who remains uh -huh. nah that's not who it is bro he's just a swindler he's just hustling trying to make money trying to make ends meet and stuff then he go to the, the street because he's trying to run from them now in the music and he, oh you just see another no, what music what, what? they play like the the old school music the chase music they had oh okay yeah. yeah yeah uh so he's getting chased but before he starts getting chased he runs into i think a congressman or a senator or something like that right oh, and he's like pants. hey these pants don't work these pants don't wear and as he's talking to him oh hey senator he starts getting smaller and you're taller yeah, than me yeah. bro i thought that was hilarious yeah, that, bro, bro it was it was perfect that was absolutely hilarious yeah. he's like no no these are prototype remember i told you come meet me he's like oh okay yeah i'll meet you later <laughs> so it's like bro, yeah, bro he's been he's doing this he's doing this he's selling his inventions he's swindling his inventions and stuff like that so that was cool to see but yeah jonathan majors was the absolute steal and then as you get deeper into the episode his, his like stuttering and his pauses kind of went away showing that nah he was just just playing the act playing the fool so i thought that was really cool to see so jonathan majors like i just said steal the show for me one um, thing i wanted to point out um on that whole his inventions thing and i don't know if this is 100 percent true but i also like what i'm get, assuming is that all of his prototypes and he's doing his selling like he he said it himself he can't make what he wants because he doesn't have, he doesn't have the technology so that's probably yeah. why he's doing what he's doing he's just making money at this point trying to make yeah money he's like i don't have the tech to to go where my mind wants to go i know mm -hmm. this will work but there's the technology's not out yet exactly so yeah so i mean he's, he is that genius and he's just kind of doing what he can in the meantime yeah until until technology catches up um any other highlights for you guys that we want to talk about how do you guys feel about sylvie sylvie not killing him she struggled with that right she really did go ahead jet you you, you haven't said much go ahead go ahead i was gonna say fucking sylvie's a gangster like <laughs> she is fucking a cold hearted bitch like she she knows what she wants and she's gonna go get it and no one's gonna get in her way and she has a plan and like she was telling fucking Renslayers like I've killed you 50 fucking times in my head that's not good enough for me and she pushes her into the fucking that in the portal crazy. that was like that Whoa. was and she's like, you want to you want a seat at the end of time? I got you. I got oh, you. Man. She ends up being at the end of time with uh, the he who remains his body. Bro. I was like, bro. dang, that's gangster. <laughs> that so let, me, let me ask y'all, though. Man. What is the secret for Renslayer? Yeah, yeah uh, we could talk about that, too. There's a secret for Renslayer. Miss Minutes is like, yeah, that was foolish of him to make an enemy out of the one person that knows all his secrets and there's one about you ren uh you i can tell you're not you, gonna like this but you're not gonna like it what what's your theories on that right now i have mine already in mind what's your guys my theories instant on? theory was that she's a variant of kang because there could be female okay. variants so she's a female yeah, yeah, variant yeah, yeah. that took yeah. over and he's doing this as punishment to that kang playing with okay. him basically that's what i'm thinking 
Jet, do you have one of? No, I haven't even no? thought about that secret. Uh, when when she said secret, thought to my head was daughter. This is his daughter, and he put her in charge of the TVA. So I mean, that that's where I think it might go. It's just a theory, but a variant of Kang. You think they'd go that crazy into it? Maybe, right? Maybe. Hey, but we didn't see not one female variant in the Council of Kings when uh, they showed that. So maybe, maybe. Uh, but yeah, so I, I think that's his daughter. You think that's a variant of Kang? Hopefully, they reveal that in the next episode. Probably not. Maybe that's some later stuff. Um, but yeah, I thought that was really cool to see. Um, any other highlights? We talked about Sylvie, Loki, and Mobius kind of took a back seat. Yeah, they were in the episode, obviously, but they kind of took a back seat yeah. in terms of overall story, overall dialogue. Um, but I thought they did a phenomenal job still, as always. Yeah, their, yeah, their chemistry and their friendship just gets mm-hmm. better every single episode. Um, yeah. And just mm-hmm. when they're on screen, like just their conversations, like I'm just always interested in what's happening. So just wanted to highlight yeah. that. Them them walking up to the bar. Sorry, Cody. Uh, no, go ahead. Go ahead. W- walking up to the bar and they see the statues of Odin, mm-hmm. of Loki. And I guess Balder, I think was the name. Balder. Who's yeah. Balder? Nobody knows Balder. And he's like, oh, yeah, Balder the Brave. <laughs> that, that was a funny yeah, little interaction. And he walks away and you can see it in Loki's face. Like, damn, like, I think he was contemplating just being back with the family or, or, or just mm-hmm. being back there. Or maybe the decisions that he's come up with that he's made in the past. And he's kind of like, yeah, I really did them wrong. And I don't know. That's just my, that's just the, the felt, the, what is it? The, the way I felt about this. Yeah. So oh, it's not, that's I, all. Yeah. That's why. <laughs> And we could talk about it a little bit after, but that's why I hope they just they just plug this man back into the MCU because be this Loki in the MCU, man, that shit would be fire, bro. So, I think so yeah, I think yeah, he's coming to the realization, and he, we saw it in season one when he's looking through all of his future and how he ended up dying and stuff. Because Thor needs shit. someone, man. Yeah. That guy, bro. Yeah, yeah. That oh, man. Man. What does he have left anymore? He has nothing. His daughter. Well. Oh, yeah, daughter, technically, yeah, his daughter, yeah. yeah. So, with the that's who he's got in his life. Hey, so, I mean, and we'll talk about it. We'll talk about what we'll, at the end of the, the review what we think, what we hope for for Loki and all that. Um, but yeah, Mobius and then uh, Obi. Obi, <laughs> as Obi. always, he's, he's funny, bro. He comes up again. Oh, we're all gonna die. <laughs> that's, like his, <laughs> that's like his thing. We're all gonna die. He said, you, you can <laughs> hack the system? No, I was asking. Oh, no. Okay, no, you can't hack the system. We're, we're gonna, gonna die. die. <laughs> yeah. So I thought that was hilarious. Yeah. Uh, a point that I didn't make in the last episode that I thought, you know, they're trying to expand the loom so that all these, these branches can go uh-huh. through. And it seems like it's still like getting, getting overloaded. What I mm-hmm. was going to say in the last episode is they trimmed a lot of branches. That The final number that we heard, and I think it was more than that, was like 30%, right? And I think it was more than that by the end of it. Yeah. Wouldn't they have bought themselves some time? Maybe maybe that's what it is. I right was going to say, didn't they say they're, regrow- they're regrowing? Those ones that, that died? Didn't they say they? that? Oh, I didn't, I didn't I catch that. I, didn't. Um, I may be wrong, but I could have sworn they said they were regrowing. Okay, no, maybe I missed that, but I, I, I didn't. That doesn't sound familiar. Um, yeah, because yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was gonna say, technically, if you're pruning the branches, then it should be stabilizing the loom. So, yeah, how would it still exactly. be? Yeah, yeah, should they should have at least bought themselves some more time to where like they don't have to do this so urgently. Um, but yeah, Obi, as always, like Jet mentioned, he, he did a good, good job, and and what little he got because he really didn't come out too much except there that one scene and stuff. So, but yeah, as always, he's hilarious. He's funny. He's good. He's a good guy. Uh, what what other what other positives did you guys take away from the episode? What what what'd you guys think? You think of any? My uh, mine real quick was was uh, Loki using powers again, bro. Like I said it in the last review. Yeah, I'm so like happy it. he's using power, <laughs> bro. He, he bumps the big man. He's like, oh, sorry. And then you want? I think we should take this outside. Outside, okay. And then he just kind of like snaps his fingers and he's gone, bro. I was like, oh, that's so freaking badass. Bro. Loki the Loki, great, everyone. Loki the great, yeah. Mobius <laughs> be here all week. Oh shit, he's, he's he's a magician. Oh, everybody starts clapping. <laughs> he he goes outside. He's in the cage outside with the animals and shit. So I thought that was hilarious. But yeah, Loki using those powers is is is, is phenomenal. I like it, bro. It's funny. It's funny. It's it's cool to see him do that because for me, that's always been a little thing. What well, what can Loki do? And he's doing it in this season. Uh, any other positives, boys, before I get into the reason why I, t- I took my point off? Uh, just a real quick one. Loki and Sylvie, whenever they have conversations, I'm like, fuck, man. Like, it just hurts the heart, man, because they used to be like the, 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 the yeah, team, yeah. like the duo, and just now they're just like, they don't see eye to eye on She's nothing. Even with that, so. this looks familiar, doesn't it? <laughs> Fire. Uh, so yeah, okay. Reason I knocked off a point. 
the very beginning, it started off slow. The dialogue was okay. We see Miss Minutes. We see Renslayer, and they're kind of going back and forth. And this is at this exact. She she mentioned Miss Minutes. You have to drop this off here at this exact moment in time. And then Renslayer keeps continuing to ask questions. I'm like, bro, it's, it has to be like right now, right? Are, are we not? I, what's I going think on? they. She just meant in this day, like it has to happen now. Like this is the moment uh, where it all starts. Yeah, so I mean, I, t- I didn't take that, the full point away. Like, I would have still been okay with it. But uh-huh. yeah, the, the beginning dialogue was okay, was all right. Then we get to the the fairy scene, right? And, and I thought that was like, that's that where it picked really... up for me. Wh- which one? Wait, when they're on mean? the ferry, they're having the conversation and stuff. It's just and it's oh. Miss Minutes, it's Renslayer, and uh, and uh, He Who Remains. They're just they're they're on their way to his lab, right? And they're just having that dialogue. Oh, the, the fairy. I thought okay, that, yeah, yeah. yeah. It slowed down for me a little bit right there. A little uninteresting for me personally. Yeah, there was a couple tidbits in there that was cool to, information to hear. But for the most part, I was like, eh, okay. And then overall, the episode had some funny stuff in it. But compared to this episodes two and one, the action wasn't as great. I think we got very minimal Crazy. action in this one. Crazy. And then the dialogue wasn't as good compared to the other two. So that's the reason Crazy. I took off the point. Better than two. Where is, it? Where, is, than two. Where, is this, where is the action in this episode? What the hell yeah, do we What do you mean? We, we literally had... Loki and Sylvie, we had to chase. I mean, that is, that is an action, action. But Loki what, what and we do? Sylvie, yeah, they the, had a little I'm scrap. assuming the, the 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 scrap in the little Ferris wheel and stuff. I mean, that, that, Bro, was, scrap. Not that. that was an action. That was come an on, action. man. No, we're you need finna, to watch that. You need to watch that. I, I just want to say we're not finna deduct because of the least amount of action right now, right? We're not compared doing that, the, right? Compared to the other two, the action wasn't in there. So it, needs, the be- it needs I, action to be 10 just, like crazy. I just thought the beginning was slower than the other two. Yeah. This is ridiculous. Yeah, I can see that too. Yeah. Um, it's not. How? That is. Wow. So Bro, is, that, you, is that the reason you knocked off a point too, Jake? <laughs> yes. And it's obvious. <laughs> like, you need to go rewatch the second episode. There's no way. Yeah, like, yeah no, honestly, honestly, you guys need to comment down below. Hey, codes, go watch the second episode. Like, well, stop watching the NFL. Stop watching the game because <laughs> that second episode was fired. Oh, what the way? Boy? No, he didn't score, funny. man. Um, so yeah, that's the reason I'm, I'm at a nine. Jets at a nine. Codes is at a ten. Any other any other topics that come to mind? Anything yes. you want to talk about before we get into what we think? How, how did y'all feel about like the whole idea that? he basically made a loop or uh what's the term for when i explain this so he brought the book back to his younger self to become him that that yeah basically that's how he started right like i mean that's that's always been a thing with time travel movies and stuff like that it's no matter what happens that's the way it was supposed to work out and it seems like that's what they're doing too like they're starting the cycle around um no i mean i don't have no issues with it i mean that's he's meant to be he who remains and this is how he's placing himself back to be he who remains um yeah I, don't, I didn't have any issues with it I thought it was it was fine because my thing is like how do you know to choose that one that would mean that he would have to have been in that position but if he was in that position how did that even start that's what choose, i was like choose which one what do you mean choose that variant of king of himself to be he who remains how did he know that was the one i i don't i think that was his himself back in the past exactly. i uh, i think it said sacred timeline right the sacred timeline is that our no timeline that was a that? branch they were on a branch they're, they're on a branch oh, okay yeah. Well, so then, yeah that might i thought that was our timeline but i mean that's probably himself just in the past right like and that's what i'm saying if that's him in the past and who started it like how did that begin how did he ended up with a tva book if that's that's the, that's the thing with time like that's the way he got introduced that's just the way as far as far as like time travel movies and stuff it goes that's just the cycle bro like he ended up getting that book he's got to make sure that that book gets placed again for him as his younger version and it just continues so presumably and unpres- i don't know how they're gonna do it that's how he's gonna die again right he's gonna do it again and it's just a cycle so i don't know but yeah i didn't have any issues with with any of that i guess we'll see the future which leads us into the future topic then where do we want to see loki in the future of the mcu where do you guys want to see that happen I don't know. I don't know where we would place him, to be honest. Besides something with Thor, and that would have to be just a solo separate movie. But again, I don't see where he fits in the MCU currently. Well, I, I think it's a cool dynamic that like the the very first villain of the MCU is fighting like the current big bad. I think it's a really cool, like kind of underrated dynamic. Um, so I guess just like because obviously like no matter what we're dealing with right now in loki like this this isn't the final threat or the final king 
like there's just no way unless it, unless like at the end it's gonna he's gonna spawn but like they're not gonna deal with him there because there's still avengers kang dynasty so mm-hmm. obviously kang's gonna play a part in that so i mean if you find a way to bring loki back it's just so he can help in that because at that point he would be the most experienced one with experience with kang so it, yeah, it would fit things. but I, I i just like he said either a, a, another thor so well obviously a thor solo movie would be after kang dynasty so yeah just just plug him in there really that's i think so that's i think i think his I debut think. if he were to come out would be avengers king that's i think that'd be the best spot to put him in right like that's how he shows up and that's how he's back because it could um, always be an end credit scene honestly like yeah truth, truth be told that shit could be at the end of the marvel fucking loki just spawns up somewhere like it, it could be yeah. some shit like that but and and i think that's what we all want to see him come back into the fold with the mcu and, I, and that's where i got that scene when he's looking at the statues and he's kind of contemplating life i guess and, and we want to see him back in the mcu now the only thing that counters that and we talked about it on our on our podcast that if you guys haven't seen it is these guys had no bible man they had no bible meaning they don't have a way to connect them to the mcu this season was already written filmed and done and then the news came out that they don't have a bible so hopefully by the end of the season they connect it to the mcu but i doubt it and i'm not to say that they can't do it maybe in season three because i mean we still got some years away anyways till till king dynasty so they can do that so hopefully they do it but i don't think it's going to be at the the end of the season i don't think we're going to get any connections to the mcu by the end of the season i hope i'm wrong but just judging off that piece of news that we got then i don't think it's going to happen but i mean we will see we will see any other final thoughts yeah so quick question do you guys think it's possible that loki has an interaction with the council of kings in this yeah in this season i don't think so and 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 Honestly, we could we could have done all that, but they don't have a, they didn't have a Bible. They didn't have. And I get that. They weren't thinking about it's that. It's just stuff. the way that this show is going with the whole Kang and, and he who remains thing. They have to show up at some point. And it might be too soon. We're what is this episode three already? We're already midway yeah. through the season. We got three more episodes left. I don't know. I don't know. We're already halfway. That could be the finale though. They're fooling around it with one. Be. Oh, it could. It could. It could be. That could be the start of the war. Yeah, it could be. I mean, but when's when's Kang Dynasty? Two years. 2025 2020 yeah so two years so i think we get another season and then that's when they get their bible that's when we only got a year left because i mean we still i think we're gonna get another season there's no way this is their most popular show right now this is just killing it i think we get another season and they start actually filling in those dots and filling in what they got to do with the mcu i think it's too soon right now what what are they gonna do with the council of kings just just like a scene you guys think just like a little scene that hey they're on their way and then we don't see it until 2025 but then what would that be for the ramifications of, of season three? What are they like he knows the Council of Kings are coming, what are they gonna deal with in season three? I think it's better set up for season three stuff, and he's dealing with all that. And then we jump Damn, right into the Do you think another season? I think so. I think so. They said, right? They said that they want to do these limited series and actually put multiple seasons, which they've done with this one. This was meant to be a limited series, and that was it, but it obviously it grew and it's popular so they got to keep going i think it's too soon though two years away from from avengers that's too fast that's too fast i think i think they're gonna give them another season and then connect it there but hopefully i'm i'm wrong i mean i wouldn't mind not seeing it but i just think that's what's gonna end up happening we shall see make sure you guys stay tuned for that any other thoughts boys before we head on out yeah the very last thing the way this episode went there's no way we revert to how it used to be mainly because miss minutes has a grudge mm-hmm. against him already mm-hmm. and i mean Renslayer is clearly not going to help him so how is he going to do that without the help of loki and them but still that doesn't get you back you don't have miss minutes anymore you're, you're done for so yeah i mean obviously the tva is heading in a different direction from the way they started right like they want to actually save these branches and can make them thrive and continue so I think the TVA is just going to completely flip, like we've said before. So, yeah, I mean, and Miss Minutes, I mean, do you think they just come up with their own AI? Or she comes back at the end? Or, or I don't know. I don't. I think she becomes the main villain of this season. Of this season? The main villain? Yeah. Maybe. Maybe she was a little She psychotic. knows everything. She can do everything. Yeah. It yeah. is, but her having a personality like that was crazy. 
<laughs> I don't think I think she's just that side evil character. Like, hey, all right, he did me wrong. Watch, check out all this information I'm about to dump on you. But I think that's about it. Oh, um, she's talking yeah. about some. Why didn't she give me up? <laughs> she faces backwards into the, into the thing room. Like, yeah, that was wild to see. But uh, there you guys have it. That was our review for Loki. Go check it out. It's still a great episode. Nine from me, nine from Jim. Ten, ten, ten. Ten from Co. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe down below. All the good stuff. You already know what to do. We appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you guys stay tuned for the next one. Peace.